This is Real Women Celebrating Women in Independent Film. My name is Brenda Daly and I'm your host. And uh, today is International Women's Day. Yes. And I feel like a show like this is about women empowerment and people that are working in the industry. And I wanted to talk to somebody who's been around it for quite some time. She's very experienced in uh, just being on set and working with people and she's a big team player and she was one of the leads in my first feature film rogue angel yes. it's penny wilson penny oh, it's so thank good you, to Brenda. see you <laughs> thank you for having me in your film oh it was great mm. really you were the choice <laughs> well, I, I mean, there were a lot, there were some good actresses. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like uh, you have a unique li uniqueness about you because the character was kind of white, Naughty. trashy, kind of yeah. and rough. She but was. you had that elegance that people could see that you you could control anybody, not just with your grit, but with your <laughs> look, you know, with however you wanted to manipulate them, you had that quality about I you. I love Mary. She had, you wrote a great part. It was a great yeah, part, wasn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with that, being a bad girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how often you get to play that. Oh, I don't know that I've done that, actually. Yeah, she was kind girl. of, she was a little wicked, but she was yeah. wicked for all the right reasons. She was, she had her motives and they centered around family. Right, and I think too, uh, when you're living in the situation, because they kind of live in a very small town, you live a situation that's very rural, you depend on, yes. it, that, that is your whole world. Your world does not go outside that world. <laughs> no. And I think that's how Mary grew up and that's what she lived in. And uh, her, she was probably right, I have a girlfriend whose parents uh -huh. collected antiques. And so she's held on to these things like, life or death because that's how she was taught like this was important so i feel like with mary the land was oh, the most everything. important thing most precious thing that she could hold on to yes and i grew up in a small town so i understand how everything all the intrigues that could happen to you know, right growing right up. but my lord when i was a kid everything was about freedom i mean we had we were latchkey kids we were able to do anything we wanted right. uh, pretty much you know be home by dark that was the right when street lights come on come home <laughs> you might so have dinner on the table absolutely always dinner on the table yeah, yeah for yeah. sure and uh so do you have any siblings i do i have a brother and i had a sister she's passed away but my brother is still living he's in south dakota oh wow yeah, yeah. Uh, my mother comes from a family of nine yeah, and so, mine does too. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, <laughs> I think their whole life is like, you know, it is all about the family because it really is. at the end of the day, it's legacy. And I felt like that that was Mary's motivation, but her family all kind of went sideways except for the youngest. Mm -hmm. So, I think that was really important. But I, I really felt like because of the quality that you have, because you do have a classy persona about you, that I felt like Mary was probably when she was younger, the most sought out girl in town. I got the feeling that her life did, um, you know, I'm not giving away the story. No, I know. <laughs> but uh, her life was such a journey that it, uh, many women have gone down that road. And I think they'll find empathy uh, with her, uh, with Mary. And um, especially these days, you know, that uh, women are stronger uh, and they can, ex they can exhibit it more. Women were very strong. My mother was very strong. Yours must have been right. too. Nine, you know, out of a family of nine. Right. But um, it, today, it's it, it, things are much more open, and I think that's what's really wonderful about uh, what you're doing with your podcasts um, and people getting to know us, uh, other than on screen. Well, I think too. Uh, women have always been empowered, but they use their power differently. Mm -hmm. Where now, uh, you know, all the women are feminists. And I, I mean, I, I live with them. <laughs> they're, they're hippies. I mean, it, yes. and, and because they've, they've grown up. So the world is completely turned on its axis, even from when I was a kid. I mean, my mom stayed home, took care of kids. And then, and then during her relationship, the world was evolving. So I feel uh, in today's climate, it's important for those of us who have seen the other side where women were as as considered as important in certain fields uh, oh that gosh. they're definitely flexing their muscle and <laughs> and I, I feel grateful to be on this earth long enough to have seen it evolve 
and to actually do it myself and, and yes. show these younger kids we can do this too. Absolutely. When I was young, um, getting out of high school even, the only jobs that there really were, secretarial, nurse, and you could be, of course, everybody was a mother while they were doing these other jobs too, mm -hmm. uh, but secretarial, nurse, and you could have um, very few other things that were open to you. And I, airlines was my beck and call, beck and call, other than some business. So uh, life has really, really changed, and I'm happy to see those changes for the younger people. And I think too, uh being older and starting as a filmmaker older, I feel like I hope, and I know I have because my daughter's doing her first short oh, film. Oh, she's great. Yeah, but <laughs> but I feel like I've empowered her to understand that, you know, she can do it. Of course, I give her too much advice sometimes. I mean, she says, I know. It's like, okay, <laughs> I really need to back off a little bit because she does know. She doesn't yeah. really need me, but I like to say, oh, I helped her. <laughs> but I, I do feel like uh, we are setting an example even, you know, I, we'll be, I'll be, you and I will be setting an example all the way to the day we die because the world is changing so fast. And uh, Penny and I actually were taking acting classes from the same acting coach. Yes, we were. And, and uh, Ryan Williams, we love you. <laughs> Yes, uh, he yes. was tough and he wouldn't let us, he, he would not let us get away with anything. Nope. But I feel like that really made me step up my game uh, from going from theater to yes. film. But I also felt like I really listened to everything he said. I don't know if he knew that, but just even when we talked about filmmaking, he's like, well, go make it yourself and don't do this <laughs> and don't do that. And, and he was really one of the first people that really gave me permission. Mm -hmm. to just go ahead and do well, it. What's had, the worst thing that can happen? I believe, and Suzanne LaChase also, you know, because she's in the film industry, teaching in Los Angeles, to give her a little plug, but blessings, you know, they were there teaching, and- And they're, uh, we were, and they're not that, they're young. And, they're, <laughs> and, and I feel like we can learn from people that yes. are younger for sure. Oh my goodness, yeah. I, I found that in classes from the very young, the, you know, we're talking four-year-olds on up, and, uh, I always marvel at what little sponges they are. They really, really do uh, absorb everything. And I'm so happy to see some of them in films uh, today and some of the other classes in town, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like the, the kid, I mean, I used to teach voice lessons. So I feel like the kids oh. are, are definitely sponges mm -hmm. and it's a lot harder to teach an older person. And it's only because they're set in their ways where <laughs> kids are still learning. So they want they want to know what's next all the time. And so they just, they just, it, it's just, they have no barriers because no one's told them that. That's right. You know, they have, no one's told it's you, right. oh, you can't do this yet. Mm -hmm. you, you have somebody saying, well, let's do this. And they're like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what you get from them, and, and then they become an expert. And, and, and for me, it was I was told, and, and not to be compared to an onion too much, but it was all these layers that have to be removed for all of the different things that we've learned in our lives um, that protect us. That uh, you don't do this or don't do that, or you have to act a certain way. Um, some of that's still true, of course, but. For yeah. the most part, you do have to unlearn some of the habits. I think you have to learn. unlearn the habits, but I think that the lessons you have learned and, you know, I was talking about being a filmmaker. A lot of filmmakers I know start a little bit later. And the reason why they start that is because they've actually lived a life and they've had a lot of pain and they understand uh, adversity. Uh, younger people don't understand that. So, you know, people can go ahead and bag on the younger actor, but if they don't really have anything to access to, True. I think sometimes uh, it's really not fair. So uh, as, as as I get older, I hope I just get better and hope, and I know you get better because I, in class, I didn't really know you and you know, I've seen scenes. We never I, got a scene together. We never, we <laughs> never worked together, but I did. And when, when you auditioned, I was like, oh, she's too pretty. Oh, That's all I kept thinking was no. she's too pretty and too glamorous because it was supposed to be this hokey town. But then it was like, <laughs> wow, they just kind of, when I saw her audition, I felt like it really added some depth to it because why else would she find a man that comes from a, a, another state and drag him into her world? How, how could that happen? Well, she's <laughs> drop dead gorgeous. Uh, and, and you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, so. I could kind of see, you know, so, and I felt like that you just brought a different quality that was even in my head. So I thank you for well, that. That's good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. Because yeah. we, I auditioned right at first, you know, with my own hair color and, and then I got 
kind of aged over it, so we had. Yeah, I was like, I had to always strip my hair down. <laughs> I know, but it was fun because you know. And I know it's hard because you you know you always have this glamorous appearance and you're very uh, businesslike yeah. and professional, and I think that's just your persona. So to so it was kind of fun stripping you down. I know it was I was hard <laughs> because you know we always hate the way we look on the camera or whatever. I mean, I feel uh, the same way. Well, but yeah. I think as an actor, you really brought it. That's. That sort of really brought, that Thank really you, that gave the, your acting chops respect mm -hmm. because you were willing to do anything to give the audience to come live in that world. Yes, and um, I did do something earlier in the year, and it's about ageism. And during that time, in that role, <laughs> mm -hmm. I had fun with that too because I, you know, various. Uh, uncontrolled moments, let's put it that way, that yeah. I got to act through. Yeah, and the thing is, is that I think as an actor, you have to be willing to strip it down. Mm -hmm. And you have to be willing to do things that you didn't know you could do, but you just have to be willing to go there and, 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 and be, be open. And be in the moment. Be Absolutely. The and that's the fun thing about acting. Uh, you know, it is just being uh, who you are in a different circumstance. And um, I find that more challenging in a way, but yeah living, living it is and, the way to go. and i think too uh you just have to find a coach that you gel with because you know some people won't gel with one coach but another one will give them everything it's mm -hmm. all and it's all trust and also that's the biggest thing i learned about making the feature was i had to find people that trusted me because i know there were a lot of people that didn't know me they, I mean, they saw me on facebook i mean what's that but they don't really they didn't really know me as a filmmaker they might have seen a couple little mod squad clips but they didn't really know me right they might have known me as the actor or the wannabe it was, it was or, the, quite the challenge you took on but i think you did yeah, it beautifully so, thank you i really yeah. i'm really proud of the film i just honestly i didn't know if it was going to turn out that good but i just knew that uh going big and and i knew that i had to grab the best actors because mm -hmm. if you lack in other things, great acting will bring you up. And so that was my, my that goal. That's a good story. Uh, and I, quite honestly, I just, you know, I was in a couple of things just to say locally and uh, they trusted in me. And if I hadn't been, I had that support, you know, I wouldn't have had two belt, under my belt movies here in Las Vegas. And that was by One Media Production, just to give, and, and they were good to me. And um, yeah, I love so them. Yeah. It, it was it was wonderful because I got to play opposite an actor who was renowned, and that was John Ransomberger. And it was one scene, but still, it was it was quite quite an undertaking, you know. And uh, to be accepted and liked by each other, I think that was important. And I think actors have ahead. to be open to that. Yes, I know. I, you and really have to be. Oh, you have to be really open person to be actor. I always feel like you mm -hmm. really have to like understand that you're you're one small part of a bigger picture and that's how we are as people but i think people are so they they think that it should be like i'm acting no you're not acting you're actually creating the entire world and you're and you're giving people what that feeling would be like hopefully Hopefully, <laughs> if you did it right. I really think you did it right. I, I, I have to tell you, I had a friend and he was like, and he's a big critic. Like he will, he, he's like Ryan. He will like, no, that suck, that suck. <laughs> and he said to me, this is the first thing he said to me after the movie. He's like, wow, how wonderful it is to do this little independent film. And the acting was just so good. Well, and you trust in people that, my husband actually has a great eye for a lot of things. Uh -huh. And uh, since he's doing my auditions and things at home yep. uh, for self submittal, you know, he, he's learning as he goes along, but he picks things up so fast. And I think it's because he was an ex-pilot, which is where we met on the airline. Mm -hmm. And they go by, you know, they- And it's fun. Checklist always. So <laughs> yeah, and, and so I, I trust in him and he, always point something out that perhaps I didn't see right uh, in an audition or maybe even in um, the piece itself so I'm grateful for that that I've got a good partner <laughs> yeah I think it's really important you know I had written a completely different script and I hated it oh. because I felt like I was trying to do everything everybody thought was a good idea 
And then um, I actually had my daughter and Julie, and they were coming up with all these. We're all, we're all coming up with these crazy ideas, and I was trying to get it all down. Too. And I went crazy. And then my daughter said, you really just need to watch mm -hmm. Promising Young Woman to see what people are looking for. And she goes, and then you just need to go with your heart. And then I talked to Julie, and Julie was like, you know, we could go this way or that way. She goes, but you really just need to go with what you're feeling and of course my biggest feeling point is my husband and he he's been doing this whole gold mining thing and we've been driving oh, through all these crazy gold my mining dad was towns. a gold miner actually. oh really so yeah. so yeah so and i was <laughs> like and of course we love those shows like uh yellowstone and all uh, that yes. and so we're driving through this town that one person owns and i'm just driving i was like oh what if there you go. What would a family <laughs> who lived in these circumstances be like? And what would their lives be like in a fantastical women empowerment way? And then, yeah. I don't know if you've seen Promising Young Women, you should definitely no, watch that. Okay. But it's it's not a, a mining town, but it, she this girl is like, it, it, and it's it's so well done that you're just like, wow. And, and my daughter, and so I got steered. And of course, I didn't want to write the script again. My husband's like, uh, I was like crying. Uh, I was like, I don't know if I can do that. And he's like, you just it's need painful. To, you need to get your butt up there and just continue to write. Yeah. He goes, you just need that's to good. start and fresh. And and that's, uh, you were writing in class. I mean, we were writing some of our scenes to do for. Right. Um, but some, Brian gave us permission for that. Yes, he did. Sometimes and, you have to have somebody say, Yes. You should just do this. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, and of course, you know, he was talking to other people, but I think you could just hear it. It's like that he wants everybody to It was a great well. class. There are a lot of people that I, I notice are going places, doing their own films that are from our class there. Yeah, and I think too, that's uh, the new climate. Yeah. Like we were talking about, you know. Everyone's growing. Well, and yeah. everyone's growing, but I also Taking think. Chances I think too, too uh, people are learning that in today's climate, that you mm -hmm. need to, uh, you, you can't, it's great to be cast in big network stuff, but they're, they've all slowed down because uh, I know uh, they're picking up now, but they've slowed down. It's tough. You need to, you need to create yeah. your own stuff so that you stand out because everybody else is waiting to get picked. And if you're out there putting stuff on YouTube or doing stuff, sometimes that's how you get picked because they it don't is. see, you're making yourself very visible to the mm -hmm. world. You don't know who's going to see you when. Right. Uh, for and I just got to plug this. Um, the um, I do have something dropping tomorrow, which was a total fluke. I thought in the audition, um, didn't think I. You know, I'm surprised I got it. A. Um, We're always surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's for MGM Resorts. Oh, that's and great. Uh -huh. So it was something that. Uh, was very campy and fun and, and I love that. Hope I can't I haven't seen it and I'm going, Oh, I don't look like myself in that one either, which mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a role. <laughs> well I think too it's paid, oh, first no. of all. Um, um, and I, the pay, yeah, that's yeah, I mean decent, yeah, you know, it's sure. so funny because I used to run a short film role and I mm -hmm. I had already said I'm not doing any more free stuff because I've done I have a whole book full of that. But I then it was like, oh, this is yeah. such a good role. I'll I'll do it if it's it, if it's this good. Right. Right, you know, and I think uh, and I think all actors are because we just want to act. I know, and and it's uh, what we're going to do. I mean, once you have the bug, I mean, it did come to me late in life. Quite honestly, mm -hmm. I was always uh, loving the silver screen, dating myself. But uh, the fifties and sixties for me is for fashion and movies. I just thought they were great, and it's wonderful that the women are getting heard now and doing their own thing. I, I get that. But I'm sure that they had some input from their wives and other women when they were writing some of those roles. But I think you'll oh, see more I of think that if today. You have the, I think the Lucille Balls of this world yeah. were always oh around. God. She was just But amazing. she was definitely a, a, ahead of her time. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I, and I uh. do think that, um, but look what she did. Her daughter made a movie of her mother and she, her mother empowered her children to be empowered. And to me, that's, I mean, I mean, that is legacy. Yeah. Going back to legacy, you really, we're really, I think we're doing our kids a service, not a disservice. I, I think the world's moving so fast and they're, they're getting, they're getting the opportunity to do things that they may never have had the chance to because the cameras were expensive. The film was expensive. They get to express oh. themselves in ways that we were not allowed to do. <laughs> and I think that that is 
super cool. Well, everybody's a star these days, huh? <laughs> you know? I think that's Which great. I think it's great because they get to have that that freedom if they want to write, if they want to act, or if they want to podcast, whatever they want to do. If they want to grow a garden, whatever you they know, want to do. Yeah, it's there and available for them where it wasn't before when it wasn't, you know, so accessible. You can do everything on your on your phone, people. If you really wanted to, if you really want to do things, you do it on your phone. Of course, in the professional market, you do need to get like professional headshots, oh, yeah. and you need to definitely have your profile. I think the hardest hardest thing for people, because my mother's also an actress, is that getting on the internet and doing all this stuff because it's kind of mind-blowing for me too it is and it's a lot of work i've got to say for the young ones and i could have saved so much time uh, if we'd known the business side of it first or at least as you go along that's the, in the, tandem where you, you know you got the headsets you know you've got to get videos you know you have to do certain things but the business side of it is much more complicated than that and the sooner you can start learning it, the better. Yeah, and I think because of the video and the podcasting and all of that, people are, even the clubhouse has really blown that up because <laughs> all those secrets that those A-list actors had, because somebody, you know, they found the right yeah. person to give them the right, now all their secrets are being thrown out on the <laughs> internet. So really, if this is something you wanna do, you could definitely do it. I'm taking a program called a Hollywood Winner Circle and it's literally the business side yes. of acting. And it, it literally like, and it's so funny because all the actors that I see that are actually advancing here in town are all on that program. And I'm, I, not, I didn't put them on that program. I'm on the program, but I'm on a couple of others too. Oh, okay. And, and um, I, I love, you know, Wendy's fabulous. Wendy's and there's great. A, yeah, she really is. And she's done this, for, and, you know, and as a manager step by, before. And it's step by step. And that's the thing is, and I still. think in Hollywood, the Hollywood big shots are really the ones that got the great managers. Yes. And, and said, you need to take these classes, because these classes need to be on your resume. You need to format your resume this way. Your actor's access needs to look that way. Oh, you and can I pay thought, a lot of money doing that. Or you can um, pay somebody to do it who knew. And yeah. So well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of money involved if you're doing that yourself. And I like to delegate. You know, I don't want to spend all my time doing things and reinventing the wheel. Uh, you can't uh, anyway. Which I don't really want <laughs> yeah, to do. Yeah, can't really. Uh, no, but there are people who are there to help. And yes, it's an investment. It's going to take money. But in your um, business. Yes, that's the investment. People are like, oh, I'm, the, I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an actor. It's like, okay, are you a headshot? And I, I was... I was guilty of all of that, oh, yeah. but it's like, I could take my own picture and, and I've done it. it and I've gotten cast that way, but they don't yeah. look pro, but people, but you know, sometimes you can get lucky. Uh, but I think I you know. definitely need to, uh, you know, but it's funny because we, sometimes we work with older school act, uh, directors or mm -hmm. uh, casting people, if they're older school and they're doing uh, a lot of independent stuff, they're like, uh, where's your headshot and your resume in front of you? It's like, you got, it's all online, dude. <laughs> it's like, yeah. have you not seen my actors, actors? I said always, it to you. They'll always be prepared. Have oh, I way, know, but, it, know, but the, those are all going, but want. that is actually a savings for actors so they can pay right. for all those other sites. But anyways, I, I wanted to ask you what real, like if you were to talk to a young woman who wanted to get into this industry, what would you tell her? I mean, would you, what would your advice, and, I, and I'm not talking about like the professional stuff, I'm talking about just the personal stuff, because I know there's a lot of personal sacrifice. Yeah, um, actually I started with voiceover. Mm -hmm. For three years we had a nonprofit and uh, it was, uh, you know, live streamed and it was an ensemble, but it was a comedy sketch. And I learned so much from that because you could also do uh, uh, the acting part, the interview part, and, and it was always challenging. It was, uh, um, you know, Betty Lou Gehrig headed it up. It was MGI. So she was a great inspiration because she was a Hollywood actress herself. So I would say um, for those that are voice acting, keep up with that because it's ever changing as well. And you can do it from home. And there's a lot of work. And there is a lot of work, uh, but you, you need the right setup and so on, which I kind of bypassed because I had someone from that class drag me to an acting class. And kind of it was th that took precedence from then on. <laughs> and so it's been about six years since the acting, and maybe six, maybe going on seven, it seems like a long time, but in the acting world, it does take a long time. You can get lucky, and you can be very fortunate and know a lot of people, and you can be seen, but generally it's kind of a, a grinding away, and 
but don't lose sight of the, the no, fun and really, on the set. There's so much. There's so much to learn. And on if you, then that you know that's a very good point because we always talk about you know if you want to get started, maybe you should just come in and ask, offer to PA for free because you can you can learn and then you meet people and mm -hmm. then they put you all they they hopefully they put you in the right direction. You know, sometimes yeah. not a lot, but usually they put you in the right direction and you have a little camaraderie. And I think too, with social media, you can messenger somebody. I message people I've met one time, six <laughs> months away, and I'll be like, I remember. And then I'll just message them and they, I don't know why they they answer my like, oh. Oh, well, I remember but, Brenda. Right, but I, I mean, you know, I, but I, you know, I always reference who I sure, am. Of course, you know, but I have learned a lot uh, in the in the past year because I did rate, I did a crowdfunding, mm -hmm. and yeah, for and the, I've done some acting, and I've done the po and, um, the podcasting. So I feel like I'm all over the place. But uh, well, and it's all valuable. And I would say for the people, the young ones, that if they do PA or offer to work on a set. Um, or in a movie or film that they're doing here in town. Um, you're gonna learn a lot. You might even be in the movie. Most likely you might, you will be, or if not in that one, another one that they are doing. So it is, as you say, getting known and uh, meeting people. You have to. Yeah, I, I'm, I've been, I've been a little bad about that. Yeah, you do myself. have to network. Like I, I don't literally have much. probably <laughs> been to almost every networking event that you could go to. I always made a point to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's very important to show up at the Nevada Film Office. Show up. Be there. You don't have to even do anything. But hey, show up. Introduce yourself to five people and oh, leave. Yeah. But just so that you've made a presence. Because networking is, is huge. And I've seen people just blossom just from that. Mm -hmm. um, actually, my first real like acting role, I'm not real proud of the role because I thought I did not do a good job for her, but she, you know, I was at somebody else's film and she's like, will you come play the villain in this movie? And I was <laughs> like completely, it was before I was taking even Ryan's classes. So of course I'm a theatrical actress and I was like, oh God. And, and I thought I did an okay job and I said, but then I watched it. I was like, oh God, I really need to get to uh, class. Yeah. <laughs> but at least I had the opportunity. You did. And, and theatrical is, is a great start for most of the young people. For me in the third grade, I froze. And on Thanksgiving, some kind of a program, and never ever look forward. Yeah, yeah, it can be tough. So it's it, you know it's hard sometimes with your starts, but uh, they're um, I, you know I love the Sondheim musicals that they have here at the Little Theater. Oh yeah, and uh, that in the last couple of years we have the Smith Center, which is wonderful entertainment. That is great, absolutely. And um, and the shows I, are coming I would back. love to do theater because it's so big and it's not. You don't have to pull it down like you do for television, and um, and the movies too. But uh, well, you know, I want to write a musical, right? Hmm? I want to write a musical, theater, well, I think a film, great. musical. Oh, great, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, I want to bring back the. I want to bring back coming. that feel. It's coming. I want to bring it feel. Okay, well. It's been so nice talking to you, oh Penny. Gosh. This is Penny Wilson. It went by fast. Oh my God, it went by so fast. <laughs> we and talk. Um, we talk a lot. And uh, yeah, we're going to go have some wine later. Oh, Maybe not okay. today, but another day. Uh, but this Absolutely. is Brenda Daly, and this is Real Women Celebrating Women in Independent Film. We just wanted to talk to you on International Women's Empowerment Day celebrating. Uh, about celebrating yeah. uh, people. And we want to yeah. celebrate Penny Wilson. Oh, and thank, thank you. you for being in my film. <laughs> And I appreciate you. Uh, Thanks thank a lot, you, you guys. <laughs>